back to the Tomarosa. Good morning. It is an exciting day for us here on the Tomarosa. Why is that? It's snowing. No, no, that's not right. No, that's not right. What else is happening today? We are doing our final milking of the season, and we had already gone down to once a day milking, but today is our final milking before we dry off the cows, before they calve in May. So yeah, so it was about a week, week and a half ago, we switched them to just grass hay. So their production has pretty much plummeted <laughs> as planned. But yeah. today we're just gonna, first we'll just get them ready to go, milk, and then we'll process milk. You can see the calves have already been out in the field. And they're doing really great. That's a wrap folks, Virginia's putting the last uh, bottle of milk into the cooler. Any final words Virginia? I'm looking forward to having a little bit of a break. It is February 19th, 2021. We did our final milking of our cows for the season on February 15th. The morning of. And we're going to talk a little bit about our strategies to do dry off on our dairy. We know that the cow's immune system takes a little bit of a plunge during dry off. And so we wanted to prepare for that. So for about four days before drying off, we went ahead and gave them aloe pellets in the parlor just to help boost their immune system. And then uh, we've continued to give them aloe pellets after dry off, uh, but we will be ending that after five days post milking. We are not giving the post milking uh, aloe pellets in the parlor. In fact, we haven't even opened the doors to the parlor uh, since the last milking. We don't want anything that might trigger any sort of letdown, so we've changed up our routine a little bit. Uh, we come into the barn from the back instead of the front in the mornings, and we give them the aloe pellets in the manger where they have their hay. Also, before drying off, we switched over to grass hay. We wanted to try to reduce their production to make dry off as less stressful as possible. Uh, we got them down to about seven pounds a day at the very end. And I don't think that they're having any issues so far. Have you seen anything you're concerned about? No, and in fact, uh, Buttercup, who is the one with the milk allergy, she was, her last day was 5.6 pounds. So we got her way down just on grass hay, no alfalfa. And I think she's doing well. She seemed a little kind of under the weather for the first few days, but she didn't have any sort of uh, breakouts, you know, the hives or the swelling that she has had in the past. So I think just getting her milk production real low helped her uh, dry off without any of those problems. Yeah, we were very happy about that. We had uh, the homeopathic remedy Apis Mel on hand just in case she started to have an allergic reaction. But thankfully we didn't need it. Probably you're gonna need it when uh, she calves and we drop down to once a day milking this coming summer but uh, this unless she grows out of it <laughs> always hopeful always hopeful to sum up these are the things that we focused on to make dry off successful for our cows 
Number one, we reduced production. Number two is we boosted their immune system. Number three is we did everything we could not to simulate letdown. Number four is lots of clean, dry bedding. We want to keep their udders clean uh, because that's when they're most vulnerable. And number five is not touching the udder or doing anything for the first five days. After the first five days of not touching the udder at all, uh, we are going to do some teat dipping uh, for a little while just as an extra precaution while that keratin plug forms in the teat. And then other than that, uh, there'll be dry cows. And then we have to look forward to the period right before they calf. And that will be another video, of course. During this dry period, uh, we have a lot of projects we need to work on on the farm. So there'll definitely be videos about all of that for you. I have a whole list. <laughs> so until next time, thanks for following us this first season as we uh, had our small dairy here in Northeast Washington State. We love having the comments and the support from everybody. Please continue to comment and watch our videos and we'll be ready for spring soon. Please bring spring. It's still <laughs> winter. It's still winter. Spud says he's ready for spring too. <laughs> and the chickens. The if you hear the rooster over there is really going. This is our view right now. I'll just switch the camera around here for you. As you can see, it is still winter. Alrighty. I think that's it for right now, huh, Stacy? I think so. Bye. Bye. So here's Stacy. This is the last of our milk. And our, yogurt. And our deliveries. This is the last Friday for deliveries. A little bit of chocolate milk left.